I just realized that there's a sleeping disorder I can never have. Sleepwalking. That's a bummer. What's up, boys and girls? Ladies and gentlemen, it's Chuck, also known as Ask a Capper, and I hope this video finds you doing awesome. And I'm bringing you some Black Ops 2 gameplay. This is me playing as the ultimate teammate, playing the objective, because that's how you do it if you want to win. And what I'm not focusing on, and what I never focus on when I'm playing as in a team game, is kill-death ratio. I think that the Call of Duty series has really screwed people up, and people always think that if they don't have a good KD, then they're not playing well, which sometimes that can be an indicator of not playing well, but unless you're playing TDM, KD doesn't really matter. And that's what I'm focusing on when I'm playing as the ultimate teammate, playing the objective, because when I'm playing games like this, my whole goal is to keep the enemy focused on me. If I'm either on the objective with them, I can't usually kill them very effectively because I'm playing with my face and I can't melee them with the shield, but I wanna keep them from capturing the flag. And you'll see that happen a few times here. But more importantly, you'll see me also stop the enemy team from advancing on an objective because they come to me and then they have to kill me. If I can burn three or four seconds, they am having to kill me, then that's time that my teammates can get set up. So that's what you'll see throughout this gameplay. And it was cool as I dropped into this game and we were down by 50 points, I think. And I decided to stay in it and see if we could win it because I know a lot of you guys would probably quit the game, but I was like, yeah, I think I can help the team and you'll see what happens. A few things I want to talk about in this gameplay is just in that not being concerned with kill death ratio when you're playing like this, but just be concerned on helping the team. And you'll see me throughout that doing this. So check it out. I wanted to also highlight something that down in the description, there's a bundle that's out on Amazon. It's a four game bundle for PC gamers. If you're a PC gamer, it's Bioshock one and two Duke Nukem forever and Borderlands one game of the year edition for 10 bucks. So the link is down below. You should definitely check that out if you're a PC gamer. The link is a referral link, so I get some coin off the deal, which I always appreciate. Actually, if you click through that link and you buy anything from Amazon, I'll make a little bit of coin. And I appreciate people who take the time to do that. And I hope you guys are all set up for Christmas. And that $10 would make an awesome Christmas present to somebody if they're a PC gamer. And since Borderlands is a pretty old game, like three years old, you don't need a really super beefy computer to run it. So that's something to keep in mind. I was definitely amazed at that, like $10 for four awesome games. And also something to keep in mind is that Bioshock Infinite is coming out in March. And if you wanna get the background and the story, you can play through Bioshock 1 and 2 if you haven't. And yeah, enjoy that. Those games do not have remapping. I don't think any of them do, which is kind of a bummer. But if you have hands and you're not playing with your face, then you're all set. You can play all those games and enjoy them if you're on PC. So that's something I wanted to highlight, and the link again is down below in the description. And um, also I wanted to make mention of the video I put out a few days ago, or last week I should say, for Wings of Redemption. If you still wanna call in my voicemail and leave me a message about why you like Wings and something positive about them, because Wings, it's always a bummer watching him on Twitter because he gets a lot of hate and uh, I feel so bad for him. He is like the black sheep of the Call of Duty community. Oh man, it's such a bummer. And it's like, I just wish he would ignore people's hate, but. I always appreciate, like I said in the video, that Wings has been kind to me. He's always looked out for me, and I thank him for that. So I want to do that video. I don't get done later on this week. I've been busy with other things, but I wanted to give you an opportunity, if you haven't called in on my voicemail, to give a call in and say something about Wings. And that would be awesome. I would appreciate that, and I'm sure Wings will definitely appreciate it. So yes, um, this gameplay is very close, as you can tell the score. And I did have to switch. You might have seen that at one point. I switched to my other class with the riot shield that has the EMP grenades because the enemy team had a dragon fly up and I was like, come on, teammate, somebody shoot it down. I like the smoke for capturing objectives and it's huge running smoke grenades, but EMP is important for taking out the dragon fires and all the other stuff. So yes, that's what you see me doing there in the game. And what I've been doing also is I haven't been running the hunter killer drone as much I'm now running the RC car because it's only 25 more points than the UAV is now because they upped the UAV points. So my whole thought is that if I'm playing like this, I want to get as many kill streaks as I can. And the RC car being only 25 points more than the UAV means that once I get the UAV, usually I instantly get the RC car also. So that counts as sort of a free kill for me, or I can at least scout for my team and give them some call outs as to what and where the enemy is. So hope you guys enjoyed, check that out. 
Victory achieved. Yes, I played my part. If you haven't yet, check out some of the videos on the screen. I would appreciate it. I got my Borderlands 2 tips and tricks. And I also have my picture-in-picture -picture voicemail Q&A. And I also have my Can't Stand Up Comedy. If you haven't seen any of these videos, check out the playlist. They're pretty good. They might be enjoyable. You might enjoy them. You might hate them. And as always, subscribe if you'd like more. But you're already here because you subscribed, so then don't subscribe again. Okay, game on, gamers. Peace in your crease.